I'm nervous. I'm nervous because, I mean, I haven't been talking to a camera, right? I've just been living in my life. So let's do this again. <laughs> let's do it again. Hi, Wealthy Fam. It's Danny, and I know it has been a very long time since we chatted, since we talked, since we've seen each other, but I'm back, and I want to catch you up if you'll have me. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so first things first, I wanna say thank you so much for the messages and the prayers. When I made my last post, March, 2022, I signed out, okay? And I never came back. Um, it wasn't intentional. It just sort of happened. And, um, I don't even know how to even describe what was going on like mentally and emotionally and physically with me but if you've ever been through such a large life change like I did then you know that <laughs> there are different stages of grief it's like someone died and the person I had known for since I was 18 years old had been with all this time I mean, it took a toll on me, and then the panorama happened. Then I decided to move to North Carolina. Hadn't lived in North Carolina as an adult since I was like 20 years old. And so it was just so much going on. And I think it all hit me at once, right? And that is why I decided to just stay gone. There were many times that I tried to come back. I think it was the six month mark the one year mark um, and I just life just kept me away but I'm thankful for the time spent away you cannot pour from an empty cup and I needed to refill my cup for the first time in my adult life I've been helping and building and encouraging everyone else and I needed to build and encourage and love on and thrive by myself without having to document it. And so that that's what leads us here today. But I do wanna catch you up. So let's start. Um, like I said, last time posted March, 2023. <laughs> I'm lying, March, 2022. <laughs> Yikes, okay, I'm already like losing my sense of time. <laughs> so March, 2022, made my last post vanished um what was happening at that moment so when i first moved to north carolina i moved to a small town near my family i think that was like a traumatic a trauma response i think that was a trauma response um i shouldn't have done that i went from a very large state a very large city um, and then came back to this very, very small town and y'all, it was weighing on me and there was winter happening every freaking weekend. So I was like stuck in the house. It was just too much, okay? And so I had to make a decision that month, like what was I gonna do going forward? Like, was I gonna stay here and where was I gonna move? I knew that I didn't wanna go back to Raleigh. That's where I went to college. And so I'm like, let's try Charlotte. So April, my mom and I started looking at apartments, all that kind of stuff. And um, it was really good for me. I was like, okay, I can get my little bougie vibe going. I could be like sex in the city, you know? Uh, <laughs> and so I was really excited about that. So I ended up deciding to move to Charlotte in the summer of 2022. But before I did that, I did my dream trip of Paris. I think I told you about that on Instagram. And so I took myself to Paris for the first time, did all the thingies that I wanted to do. Um, it was crazy being there because so many people were like, oh, you're gonna go alone and single and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I prefer that, okay? I need peace. I don't need nobody messing up my trip, okay? <laughs> And I had a blast, hopefully I'm putting up pictures. But, um, so I did that, then I made the transition to Charlotte. No, I didn't know anyone here, okay? So, um, that was a lot of change. I'm continuing to hop from one giant change to another, back to back to back, and it was just, 
craziness, okay? And thankfully I don't have kids or anything like that because y'all, I would have been laying down in somebody's hospital bed, okay? But no, so I made the move to Charlotte. I had to get acclimated to this new city, find my new restaurants, trying out all these different things, doing solo dating and all that good stuff. And of course that leads me to, now I'm starting to date date. So I, I, um, I hadn't really been like actively dating. And so last year was the first time that I was back into the dating scene, like fully, like I just jumped out there into the raggedy streets of dating. <laughs> um, <laughs> wait, I gotta say that over. <laughs> so I just jumped out there into the raggedy streets of dating, didn't know what to expect really. Mind you, last time I had even sort of dated was when I was like, in my like 19, 20 years old, okay? And that wasn't real dating, right? So this is the first time in life that I'm like actually dating as an adult. Um, so that was really scary. Ran into a lot of scary situations. Not scary, but stupid situations, shocking situations. I didn't know how cruel people can be, how non-serious people are. Hopefully that's a word. Um, and so, yeah, I was just learning all these things, honey. And that was a lot of my like summer, fall. Then I'm like, you know what, F this. I am just going to just be with myself, okay? Um, so I did my, my annual fall reset trip and I decided to take a cruise because I was just so mentally drained from dating and work and everything that I couldn't plan a real trip. So I took my first cruise with Virgin um, Voyages. That was amazing. That was like the most social solo trip that I've ever done. Had a blast, okay? Even had me a little boo, but this is not a dating page, so carry on. <laughs> So yeah, that was really nice. Went to a few islands. I think I went to Honduras. Um, where else did I go? Went back to, where did I go? Honduras, Mexico, um, the Bahamas. Great trip. So then towards like the end of November, dated a little bit, like one person. It was, you know, whatever, it was fine. <laughs> I did it um, a person, but other than that, like I'm just in my own world, right? Got connected with a church that was deciding to build here in Charlotte. So I was able to, you know, get into that community, help launch a freaking church. That's crazy. And so I gathered some friends from there, which is a blessing for me here in the city because it's hard to make friends when you're working from home, right? So made some friends, all that good stuff. And then, you know, brought in the new year alone. Um, I think I went to go see Tina the musical and out to one of my favorite restaurants. But we can talk Charlotte another time, honey. Okay, so that brings us into 2023. I came into 2023 just knowing, just knowing this is gonna be my soft girl year, which it was, but I had to fight a lot of battles, had to set a lot of boundaries. And that's the thing about healing that I wanna talk about now and throughout my return back to Pennies to Wealth is it is not linear and there is no end date on healing. You have to grieve for me, I grieve a divorce, grieve all this change, grieve this loss, whatever. And then you have to learn and heal and change. And then you have to apply it. And <laughs> I've been doing a lot of application of this healing and it has taken a lot out of me because now I am grieving who I used to be. When I am enforcing these boundaries in this new year, in this new stage of my life, because it's gonna be continuous, right? I am grieving the person that I used to be who used to accept some of these things that I am like shunning and drop kicking out here in these raggedy streets, right? And that's, that's a whole nother thing no one warns you about, okay? Like I had to talk to my therapist. I'm like, yo, like we sitting up here, you're building this like beautiful monster. Like I love me, right? But dang, you didn't tell me like I was going to mourn myself and not letting people take advantage of me anymore, right? <laughs> it's insane. So yeah, that was a lot of 2023. 
um in the springtime my grandma got sick and you know i love my grandma and that was absolutely terrifying like she dropped dead like no pulse okay and my mom and i we were at the beach for her birthday so that was like terrifying my mom collapsed it was a whole bunch of stuff and my granny was in the hospital for quite a few months she was on the little tubey thing knocked out that was terrifying like it was just so much going on and then of course once she finally got better she was looking at me like girl go and live your life and so of course now it's time for my birthday again decided to take a massive two and a half week trip island hopping in the caribbean i went to like six or seven different countries slash islands and territories just living my best life and that was so like healing to me i met a beautiful couple who watched out for me the entire time i was there absolutely loved it and then what else happened this summer Y'all, I have been really protecting my peace. Like, I've just been fighting, okay? So, yeah, that happened, came back, and then in July of this year, so it's December now. <laughs> so, July in this year, I, I was so burnt out that I was in the hospital. I thought I was having, like, I don't know what I thought I was having, a heart attack or something. I just knew my body was shutting down. Turns out it's just, like, burnout and stress. And so I made the executive decision to leave my job with no job, but that's where the finances come in because I had a really awesome um, emergency fund. And so left that job, the job that helped me leave my marriage, restart my finances, build wealth, all that stuff. Yeah, I, I was like, I gotta go. So did that at the end of July, um, took most of August off. I started consulting with another bank for a few months and that brings us sort of here a little bit. I mean, I just got back from my fourth annual fall reset. It's been four years, y'all, four years. Um, so yeah, came back from that. I was in Italy, Greece, and then I went to Malta. Amazing. So I've just been living, okay? Sometimes you just gotta take a break and, leave and live. Um, yeah that that is the high level overview of what i've been up to so why am i back great question i'm trying to figure that out because i'm still like i'm shaking i'm nervous i think i have reached a level a point in my life where god is telling me you need to go back to doing what you're great at and that is helping people Another thing that kept me away from returning is I did it and I don't like how the finance community has changed. Everyone is now an entrepreneur, which is nothing wrong with that, but it's like no one is really telling genuine stories anymore. And that's what I want to do. I want to share my heart. I want to share my story. And I also want to help you. Um, but hopefully you're okay with that hopefully you know you're not looking for me to just be a marketing piece because that's just not who i am and it it drains me right i'm looking forward to being able to share this next stage of my journey i really want to talk about navigating life from pennies to wealth like what does that look like all of this healing when you say to yourself i want better i am going to change my life you better be prepared because things start conspiring to help you do that but it's going to hurt you are going to shed people friends family partner like you're going to it's a lot so you have to be ready and you have to be prepared to not only let people go, but your old self go. And that is something that I want to continue to talk about and to be that person in your corner so you're not alone like I was for a majority of the time. Thankfully, like I have like a few friends, but I still don't. And so being able to navigate this craziness, and I gave you the high level, but all of these things is just, that's a miracle. Me sitting here, it's a miracle. 
and I am blessed and I am thankful and I am getting emotional, honey. So let me take a moment to myself <laughs> because we can't cry. This is a return. So hold on. <laughs> okay, I'm back. <laughs> but no, I, um, I'm just so thankful to have the strength and resiliency and the faith to be here today. Um, I just remembered, like, I had a freaking flood. My entire apartment flooded right before it was time for me to leave on my trip and to have to deal with that alone. Luckily, one of my girlfriends here from church, she allowed me to like crash at her place. I had good insurance. That's always, you know, something I'm gonna advocate for. But, you know, life is going to life. And so the least that I can do is come back here to ensure that financially you're stable. So when life changes happen, your job is tripping, your man is tripping, you gotta move, a disaster happens, you can take the time like I was able to do to reset and heal on your own timing schedule. Um, so I'm glad to be back again. I thank you and I love you and I missed you so much. And thank you to the people who followed me on my personal page. And Lord, my stomach is growling. <laughs> it's dinner time. <laughs> but no, thank you to the people who followed me on my personal page and was just like dealing with my shenanigans. I love you so much. Um, <laughs> But yeah, let's wrap this up. And so the next few videos will be updating you on the financial side of things and preparing us for the new year of 2024. So I will see you later and bye y'all. <laughs>